Alright, what is going on everybody? Welcome back here to another NBA 2K18 My League Rebuilding Challenge and it is the 30th overall pick in every single round Fantasy Draft Challenge. So if you guys enjoy these type of rebuilds and love these challenges because I think they're your guys favorite type of rebuilds. Let's see if this video get over um 1100 likes because you guys uh, you guys seem to love these challenges rebuilds and they're fun to do. They put a little twist on the rebuilds and they're fun. So I did choose the Grizzlies because I never use the Grizzlies. So 30th pick, it's fixed. Uh, I'm pretty sure Ben Simmons always goes like 29. Nope, he went like mid 20s. Okay, so Donovan Mitchell just won. That would have been a nice pickup. All right, so who do I want to build around? Do I want to build around Gobert, Blake, um, McCollum? All right, we can sort this by age. Honestly, I might draft Jason Tatum and just just throw a whole 180 around this because I never like draft Jason Tatum. Nor the only rebuilds I really use them. Are my my Celtics rebuilds? So we could go Ingram, but Tatum usually performs a little bit better in this game. We could go down to Smith Jr. We could go Fox, but I don't think so. I think I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Jason Tatum. We're gonna take Jason Tatum. He's cheap. He'll start. He'll progress into a 90 by the end of this. Why not? I I never do this. Now I'm hoping low key, either Lonzo or Fultz fall to me at 30. Russell, Gasol, Parker, Randall, Harris. Come on. 13 more picks. All right. They're still there. Porter, Adams, Howard, Jalen Brown. But, okay, they're falling. One of them's falling. Let's go. Um, Let's get Lonzo Ball. So, we're building around Lonzo and Tatum. It's actually going to be a very interesting rebuild. I'm actually really excited with this route. Um, We could go Derek Favors, but he is a free agent. We could go Ibaka. We could go Brogdon, who I do like. We could go Chris Dunn. Um, Dinwiddie. Covington. Okay, I kind of like the Chris Dunn selection. Um, but let's let's see. We could go Sabonis or Kuzma. I actually don't mind that. Um, we could go Kuzma. I haven't gotten Kuzma in a fat minute. All right, let's have Kyle Kuzma. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna draft him over over. Let's go Kyle Kuzma. We're build. We're basically just building an insanely young squad. Did I go to? I think I passed Kuzma. Um, no, I didn't. Um, where's Kyle Kuzma? Um. Okay, hold on one minute. Bear with me. No, where's Kuzma? How old is he? Am I dumb? No, there he is. Okay, that took me a minute to find. So we have Lonzo Ball, Kuzma, a couple Lakers rookies, and we have Jason Tatum. So now we should just pick Dirk because he fits the mold of the team. No. Uh, Frank Nilakina, I don't mind, actually. No, we're going to draft Monk and send him to the G League. He turns into a beast. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I think I'm just going to go with this round and draft the young players. And I'll see you guys at the end of this with what the team is looking like. Let's go Frank Neal Aquina here. All right, guys. I'm in the last round of the draft. I'm just going to take somebody random. Um, Let's take forward Temple, Owl, Lavoie Allen. So if you guys... I thought of a cool challenge, too. Um, Obviously, that's not what this video is about. But if you guys would be interested in seeing me do an auto-draft challenge where we just like tell the CPU, we go in the first round, they auto-draft the whole thing for us, and we have to rebuild that team. I think that would be an interesting challenge. So let me know in the comments if you guys would be interested in that type of challenge. So, let's download. This is the draft class I was downloading. National Beat Ballers. Very good draft class. So, here we go. We got Lonzo, Monk, Tatum, Kuzma, Deadman, Kylo Quinn, Jermichael Green, Lavoy Allen, Frank Nielakina, Dragon Bender, Ivica Zubak, uh, Kevin Looney, Troy Williams, and Antonio Blakeney. Um, I'm immediately sending Malik Monk to the G League, and I think we got to sign somebody else or possibly two more players. Um, can I send somebody else to the G League? Okay, we can. Who do I want to send? Um, I'm not going to send any of these centers. I'm going to send actually Bender to the GVK. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So we got Lonzo, Blakeney, Tatum, Kuzma, Deadman, O'Quinn, Green, Delaney, Roy Allen. Just kidding. Um, I would like to give, honestly, like, I would like to play Frank Nielakina as the sixth man, to be honest with you. So we played Frank, like, 25. Uh, let's move him up here. Let's give Kyle Quinn like, 17. Same with Green. And let's give... Um, we need kind of like a wing player. So let's play Troy Williams. Repping the Knicks. We'll give him 11 minutes here. Uh, now we have 11 more minutes. So let's get Tatum 37. Lonzo 37 is good with me. Let's go Kuzma 35. Uh, Blakeney can get, honestly, 33. Sure, why not? Because we're going to be bad. We're tanking. And I'll see you guys at the end of the first season. 
The best case scenario is our young players develop to be studs or not studs, but develop hopefully like at least three overalls per person and we can get a top five pick. Yep, I think we're going to be getting that number one pick or at least the number one odds at it as we go 18 and 64. LeBron wins MVP on the Mavericks. Alonzo does get rookie of the year, which is cool. Uh, he beats out Tatum and Kuzma. You were probably the other front runners. Whiteside is on the, the T-Wolves. Chris Dunn is on the Clippers. And the Kings coach of the year, Jay Jorger, wins coach of the year. Thought I'd, I'd never say that. Westbrook's on the Jazz. Paul's on the Nuggets. LeBron on the Mavericks. Giannis on the Pelicans. So they go from one freak in the unibrow or the brow to the Greek freak. Yep. Lucky them. Towns on the Magic. Curry on the Kings. That's why. John Wall on the Bulls. KD on the Kings. Now I'm kidding. On the Rockets. Ben Simmons on the Spurs. Cousins on the Heat. Lillard. On the Hornets, Harden on the Hawks, Davis on the Pacers, George on the Bucks, and Embiid on the Celtics. So, uh, we were bad. We were the worst team in the NBA by at least seven games, which is a lot when you're looking at the bottom of the NBA. Here are these stats. Kuzma actually went us some points, then Tatum, um, then Ball. If we look at uh, Monk, he's up to a 76. If we look at Bender, he's up to a 77. And yeah, so without further ado, I'll see you guys at the draft lottery because we really don't have anything to do. I'll quickly show who wins the finals here. And Curry gets knocked out in round one by the Nuggets. And it's a T-Wolves-Wizards finals. And the Wizards win it all. And Kawhi Leonard is your finals MVP. Damn, the T-Wolves have Whiteside and Leonard. All right, guys, here's a big moment for us. Draft lottery, we have obviously the number one odds at the number one pick. And we end up getting four. Uh, 2K, just trying to screw over the poor the rich get richer, poor get poorer. All right, uh, that was a really bad analogy, but we're going to move on. We are going to trade to Michael Green, so we have the ultimate cap space for free agency. Um, actually, we, we could possibly use Green to trade up in the draft, uh, like the fourth pick. And we possibly don't even have our pick next year. Um, could we move up to, like, pick two with this load? There we go. And I'm pretty sure, oh, I should have put on everybody who keeps their own picks. That's kind of dumb. But... It's top five protected, so that's kind of annoying because we're probably going to be better. I don't know. Uh, I should have probably everybody. I put on. I should have put on everybody returns, like all their picks returned to them. So with the second pick of the draft, I'll see you guys at rookie signs with who I drafted. I'm feeling either Luka Doncic or DeAndre Ayton. All right, guys. So I did go Deon, um, DeAndre. I, I went up going uh, Luka Doncic here with the second overall pick because we do need a shooting guard. I'm going to look at Cousins in free agency if he makes it there. I'm um, hoping he does, but we'll see. He's probably not going to want to come to this team. Let's offer Blakeney the qualifying offer, and that'll be it. So free agency, we have a lot of money. Could we end up with Cousins? He would kind of complete this team. Um, not really complete it, but he would be a big help. We can also offer uh, Capella, but unfortunately, he's probably going to go back to whatever team he was on, Brooklyn. And yeah, that's really the only two centers I want to throw a lot of money next year. Though, like, I think Jokic and Whiteside should be there. So, we could save our money if we don't get any of those two guys. And, yeah, I'm not going to really throw my money at anybody else. We do get Capella. Let's see. They're probably going to match it. Yep. Told you. And Cousins goes back to the Heat, which was probably his previous team. So, I will see you guys at the start of next year's season. We have our point guards. We have our shooting guards. We have our... Uh, we just need to sign, like, a backup small forward. Well, I guess Troy Williams could be that guy. And I'll, I'll just see you guys at the start of next season. We're going to be bad again next year. All right, guys. So for training camps, I'm going to send Lonzo and let's send Tatum. Yeah, I'm sorry, Doncic. I should have fired my trainer for Jimmy Lynch. I guess I forgot to do that. So let's go to here to next season. It's pretty much tank season. Again, we have a bold Doncic, Tatum, Kuzma, Deadman, O'Quinn, Neil Aquino, Royce O'Neal. Okay, yeah. No, we're not doing this. Hold on. Hold on. Um, Honestly, I'm going to send Monk to the G League again. Uh, if I'm being honest with you, we're going to give Blakey 10 minutes and let's give 19 to Bender. There we go. Um, let's give two, 17 there. Let's give 25 there. Anybody else that's getting minutes? Yeah, Monk's going to go to the G League and let's give one more to Kuzma. Let's give two less to Ball and Doncic and let's give four more to Kuzma. All right, I'm going to send Monk's in G League. I will see you guys at the end of the season. Hopefully, we have a top five pick once again. So... We can get a top five pick, plus go after Jokic or Whiteside or Towns in free agency. All right, so Steph Curry on the Kings once again. Uh, no, he didn't win MVP last year. I think it was Westbrook. Uh, we do give rookie of the year in Doncic 18 points a game. Not bad. 
Alfred Payton, six man of the year, white side defensive player of the year for back and back back to back years, and then Shabazz Napier most improved. Tom Thibodeau, coach of the year. We were 31 and 51. Most likely had nobody on an all NBA team. Yeah, no Grizzlies. All defensive team. Uh Lonzo, I was about to say, does Lonzo get it? Lonzo does get it. And then Doncic on our rookie first team. So we got two award winners. We are projected probably like the, I don't know what pick we are. Maybe the third, second. Um, we're going to be projected the third pick in the draft, possibly second. We can't drop out of the top five. We have to be five or lower in order to get our pick back. Here are the stats if you're curious. Obviously, you guys know I'm trying to get that center. Jokic. Uh, I'll probably draft Bull Bull for the fun of it, but I don't think Bull Bull will start for us. Uh, I'm still going to try to go after like a Jokic or Whiteside in free agency. And yeah, so that's going to be for me. I'll see you guys at the lottery. The Pacers win it all. And Andy Davis is your finals MVP. Wait, my dumbass actually just skipped over the lottery. Okay, we're picking number three in the draft. Okay, that scared me. I accidentally skipped over the lottery. I don't know why. All right. Um, what can I get for... Can I like move up? Or what can I get for Troy Williams? Um, can I just get a future first? Thank you, Detroit. Got a future first. That will probably be used in a trade later on, I'm going to guess. Okay, so we have the third pick. Um, we could go for depth and draft like a uh, RJ Barrett or Cameron Reddish, which definitely could happen, but I expect to draft Bull Bull or Moses Brown. One of the two would pick three, and I'll see you guys over soundings with who I draft. All right, guys, so with the third pick, I did take a center in Moses Brown. Mm, he was ranked higher in all of the rankings, and I should have taken Bull Bull. All right, that's an L on my part. Where did Moses Brown go to college? Maryland? Okay, I feel like Maryland produces like pretty good NBA. Well, produce like if they have a lot of college talent, but never translates to the NBA. Like, I don't really know. Like, the best player recently I've heard of was, like, Melo Trimble and they have a guy, Justin Jackson, and Moses Brown goes there. Um, yeah. And Logic went there. No, nah, I'm kidding. All right, so we're going to bring back everybody. We are going to have a lot of money for free agency. Um, we can honestly sign a couple players, probably. Yeah, we definitely have enough for two max deals. Probably not three, but definitely two. Actually, do we even have enough for two? No, we don't. Um, we do need a center, though. But I'm going to try to get LeBron. And honestly, you might hear it here first. I might trade LeBron for a center. Yeah. Let's do that. Towns, yeah, he's going to go back to whatever team he's on. Uh, Valanciunas is an 87, which is actually not that bad. Um, so we're going to try to sign him as well as Marcus Salt. And then we can roll with one of them. And then um, we can also... Uh, we can't offer Jimmy Baller. Damn it. All right. We're not going to get him. We get... Okay. We don't get LeBron. We have to choose between Valanciunas and Gasol. Um, who do I want? Valentine just put up four, uh, eleven point six and eight point seven last year. Gasol was a little bit better. All right, we're gonna get Marcus Gasol. Can I actually sign them both? Um, no. Wait, what about if I renounce everybody's rights here? Can I sign them both? No. All right, so we're gonna keep. Yeah, we're gonna actually renounce the rights on all our centers because we don't need them. So we're gonna get Marcus Gasol. LeBron goes to the Mavericks, which was the team that drafted him. Now. Jimmy Butler sweepstakes would be cool. Um, but we're not going to get him. Okay. Um, I would like to spend my money if this is the final year on, like, somebody to come off the bench. Like, maybe a Bohan. Um, Portis is restricted. Maybe a Paul Millsap. Um, all right. We get Bohan. We do not get Millsap. Millsap goes to the Blazers. That is probably going to be for me. So, um, are we still in moratorium? No, we're not. So, we got a Alonzo Neal Aquina. Doncic Monk. Tatum Bogdanovich, Kuzma Bender, Gasol Brown team. I don't know if this will make the finals. We might have to go four seasons, but I uh, will see you guys at the start of next season with what the team's going to look like. All right, guys. So I'm going to send, we should have three training camps this year. Oh, we only have two. Damn it. Um, Let's send Doncic to Monzo. Okay. So the team is going to be pretty good, but I don't know if it's championship worthy. So we got Lonzo Doncic. They're in the same position. Tatum, Kuzma, Gasol, Bogdanovich, Neil Kina, Bender, and then Monk. Um, I guess Moses Brown for purposes. If we lose, we could. If we don't win this year, we could send him to the G League. So, um, yeah, we're still going to play Doncic over Monk. Uh, we're going to give 10 to Bender, uh, 18 to Neil Kina, 15 to Monk, 23. Actually, let's go 24 there. 27, uh, 15. Actually, let's give him 18, 16 there. Okay. Um, Tatum, you're going to be getting 35, Doncic 35, Lonzo 35, um, Gasol 33, 32 to Kuzma, now let's go 19 to Frank and 17 to Neil Kina. so that's going to be for now, are they projecting us to do well? Not really, 
Hopefully, we can prove them wrong. All right, guys. So, we're here in April, and it's a really tight race between, like, the two seed, or it was, between the two and the seven seed. And it looks like we're going to be a middle-of-the-pack playoff team. We could be the seven seed, but we could be, like, the five seed. And we end up as the four or five seed. And we're taking on the Warriors in my one. Thank God it's not the actual Warriors. But LeBron wins MVP. You should have came to Memphis, LeBron. Zion Williamson, rookie of the year on the Hornets. Alfred Payton, sixth man of the year for back-to-back -back years. Whiteside, defense player of the year for the third year in a row. Miles Bridges, most improved. He's in San Antonio. And Tom Thibodeau, coach of the year. So Westbrook, Kyrie, LeBron. Kyrie's in New York. Hopefully that happens one day. Uh, probably not, but... I'll be second team Paul Curry, Leonard, Durant, Gasol. Um, I'll be third team. You got Wall, Harden, Porzingis, Jordan. Okay, so no Grizzlies. Lonzo's an all defense the first team. He's an 88. And Malik Monk is considered a rookie now. So he gets all um, rookie first team. So let's check out the standings, the Warriors squad. So they got Clay still, Fultz, Sarge, Valentinus, they signed DeAndre Jordan. They have, oh, okay. It's a fairly good team. Um, but we're going to see what happens here. The stats, if you want to pause and see them, we had seven double digit scores. Our highest rebounder there was Marcus Saul. Highest assist there was Lonzo Ball. Highest stealer was not Leandro, it was Lonzo. Team stats were we good at defense? Uh, looks like we were pretty good in offense. We were number 11 in defense. We were sixth best, which gave us the seventh best point differential. So that's pretty good. So, round one here against the Warriors, can we win? We lost game one by five points. Game two. We win, let's go. One by six. Game three, we win, let's go. Dodgers 29, Kuzma 24, ball with the double double. Let's go. We're up three to one. We should be winning this playoff series. You're kidding me, right? Well, there goes my camera. Hold on one second, guys. All right, sorry about that, guys. So we are still up 3 1. Now, let's see what happens. Can we go and win in five? Yes, we can. Let's go. Kuzma, actually, Tatum's leading our, I think, team in points in the playoffs. Which is actually pretty cool. Um, I, just, I really wasn't surprising, uh, expecting that. So we're taking on the one seed Timberwolves who got Kawhi Leonard, Jeremy Lin, Kyle Lowry, Kenneth Fareed, Pau Gasol, and Whiteside. It's a very good team. Game 1, we do beat them though by 5. Tatum drops 35. Game 2, we lost by 19. Game 3... Lose by 22. Game 4. Uh, 12. That wasn't 22. Game 4. 2-2. Two, two, let's go. We tied up. We win by 17. Monzo was one assist away from a triple-double in Game 5. We lost. Game 6. Yes, Game 7. Okay. Come on, please. Please. We need to pull off the upset here. Come on. Great. Uh, I wouldn't say a great first half, but it's better than losing. Not a good third quarter. Not a good third quarter. Not a good third quarter. Um, all right, we're down by nine with two minutes to go. I'll see you guys next season or if I have some blockbuster trade in the offseason. All right, guys, so we're in the month of April. We are 10 games pretty much out of the one seed. The Timberwolves are too good. They're too good in this fantasy draft. So we actually just beat them, though, by 15. Just kidding, that's 25. So maybe we could definitely beat them in the playoffs. So I'm going to quickly go to any Grizzlies win an award. No, sir. All right, so two seed. We were, what, the four seed last year. We were taking on the Spurs in round one. We got Bradley, Bridges, Ben Simmons, and Howard. We should definitely beat them. Here are the stats if you want to pause and see them. I want to get right into these playoffs. So without further ado, let's do this. Round one against San Antonio. Please do not lose. All right. That is going to be for me. Ah, oh, I failed the challenge miserably. Of course, of course. You know what? 2K just hates you some days. They love you some days, but they usually hate me some days. So, yeah, that is going to be for me. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. This will be going up, I think, on Friday the 22nd. On Saturday, tomorrow, you guys will be seeing, seeing a Building a Better Team. I'll be at Temple uh, visiting some old friends. So, there won't be any streams on Friday or Saturday. So, um, actually, you guys will be seeing this on Thursday. I'm just kidding. I am just kidding. You're going to probably see a prospect rebuild tomorrow on Friday. And then on Saturday... You're going to see a building a better team. And then on Sunday, you're probably going to get a uh, a rebuilding challenge. Plus an MLB 18 rebuild. So let me know in the comments maybe what team you'd want to see me do. So yeah, that's going to be for me. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. See you guys next video. Peace.